Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today you can see I'm looking very different. Well, this is what I look like when I was 15, 16. How attractive, no eyebrows, no nothing. Nice nudie lips, so I was on trend somewhere. Um, if you just wanna see how I got this look and how I look like when I was 15, 16, then just keep on watching. Hello everybody and welcome back. I thought I'd jump on the bandwagon and do me makeup like I used to do in school, like the 10 year challenge, remember? 10 years ago I would have been 18 and I didn't really didn't really wear makeup because I was like a full time mum then so I didn't really have time to do makeup. But going back to 16, 17 I can remember exactly what I wore because it was minimal products. Um, all I can remember is I had a bright orange face, um, didn't wear no primer, no eyeshadow, no nothing. So if you'd like to see the video, please stay tuned. So the first product I used, it definitely would have been a Rimmel, um, a Rimmel foundation, which was far too dark for us. Um, or if I had a lighter one, I would have wore it with, um, I think it's the Rimmel, it's the Rimmel London Sun Shimmer. Yeah, I used to wear this. And not only did I used to wear the medium matte, sometimes I used to wear the medium shimmer. Yeah, so my face was very glittery. And like a lot of yourselves, I would have used my hands. So, this is in the shade Natural Beige, which is not my shade but let's just go with it so i want to use my hands because i mean what even wear brushes do you know what i mean like just used to slather it on i mean don't get us wrong i was quite good cover your eyelids um, yeah, get a bit of hairline because I was quite good at that as well. Yes. And we didn't spread it on my necks. Didn't ever spread it on my necks. So once it's rubbed in, I don't know what that horrible light is. Make sure it's all rubbed in nicely. Once I'd got my base on, we'll move on. So, like, I've got my base. I didn't set anything because I didn't have wrinkles, so I didn't have to set anything. I had nothing to set. All I can remember doing is having bright orange, like, over bronze cheeks. I didn't do eyebrows, so I just left my foundation-y eyebrows. Um, did wear mascara, and I did have eyelash curlers. I was quite on the ball game then. Um, mascara, what I've used. I just need to find the right colour. There's my white. Look at Mummy's video. Say hello! So. Oh my god. So, oh my dear. So, if I was feeling, and I even had the chicken audacity to draw myself a little, like a little flick, out in the outer corner, you know, to make my eyes a little bit more weird, then I got the white and. Just rub the hell out out of it until it changed colour. Right, so once I had the brightest, brightest blue eyeliner on, 
I just look at myself now and I think, Emma, what the hell were you thinking? I remember I did have a massive fluffy brush. Like, I do remember having a massive, huge, fluffy brush for me bronzer because I had a big face and I had to put a lot of bronzer on. So basically, what I think I done was I set my face with my bronzer. And in fact, I'm sure I did. So I would have used like a... What do you call it? Like a, a powder foundation. So I would have literally like stuck it all over my cheeks. Yeah, I would have for extra coverage. That's late and crying. He's, he's, he always seems to be crying when I do my videos. Um, I would have put it like over my nose. Um, the browner and the oranger, the better, the better, 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 better. Um, and then what I used to do was, I forgot to mention this bit. Um, so then I, when I'd done my eyes, I'd then clean it off. Then. And I used to go for millions of blue and white eyeliners. Right. Yeah, no, I am. I'm putting white eyeliner on my lips. Then what I would... I have a W7 clear lip gloss. Um. And then... Literally, I mean, I don't know what I was thinking. But I would make sure I had a bit false um bit of like a bit of foundation on my lips as well. I don't even know what the hell I was thinking like. So yeah, there's my lips done. And then last but not least, I'd curl my eyelashes. because I never would have worn false eyelashes wouldn't have even know when to start and again because I was so truly like what do you call it I was so what can you say I was so committed to the same brands I would have probably used either a collection mascara or it wouldn't have been revolution because I didn't really know about revolution then What mascara would I have used? Back. Pardon me, I own a day. To be fair, I probably would have used like this one. In fact, I remember using this one. The Rimmel Flash Volume one. And it was my absolute go-to mascara. Nice and thick. So your eyelashes look like spiders' legs. That was the best. And I, would, I think, to be quite honest, I had the most bronzed goddess face. Bronze and shiny. I probably shined to the gods. Like, literally. Like, mm. And I used to think I looked absolutely like the bee's knees, to be fair. Now I look back and I think, Emma, no, no wonder no one, like, even looked your way. Of course, I was still a bairn, like, I didn't, wasn't interested in boyfriends and stuff. And I was 14, 15. Oh, God, and yeah, I used to do that regularly anyway. And I always used to wear my hair either like dire straight with the little flower clips in at the side. I used to wear my hair like that. Um, what else? I used to wear a curly with lashings of gel on it. Yeah. 
Those were the days. Tell you what, my teeth look nice. There we go. So that is the final look. So this is what I look like in 2000 and... I'm trying to think, no actually, to be fair. Oh yeah, 2006, 7, 8, when I was 16, 17, 18. Yeah, this is what I would have looked like. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give the video a like and a thumbs up. It would be most appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe also. It is most, very most appreciated. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back, my lovelies. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.